Okay, so this is the uh, six millimeter um, socket that I have on here. I just loosen it up. Don't take it off. Just leave it there. You just need to loosen it to take out the throttle cable. Slide it out and then your carburetor can come off. So again, remember there's going to be um, gas inside the float bowl. So keep your carburetor upright. Um, don't tilt it to the side or anything. There's gas. It'll spill out. Save your gaskets. Um, there's a gasket right there. Save that. You might need it. When you buy a carburetor kit, it should come with it, but just in case it, if it doesn't, or the one that comes with it doesn't fit, or it's just good to save that stuff. You never know if you could use it for another job. Okay, so now that I got my carburetor out, we're going to start the rebuild process. It's not really rebuilding because you're not going to do any necessary um, rebuilding, you're just going to clean it. You're going to take out, take it apart, clean out all the passages with compressed air um, and carburetor cleaner. You're going to soak the parts in carb cleaner. That's the best way to do it. Um, there's, a, there's a couple other guys on YouTube that have done this before. But um, this is actually a Solex carburetor, um, which is not a German uh, it's a uh, Brazilian brand you can see on top there. I don't know if you can see that, but it says Solex um, Bros Brossel B R O S O L. Um, so it's kind of confusing because it says uh, Solex, and it's kind of hard to read it, but. I need my glasses and I think it says 30 let me get my glasses 